guys, it's Lacey Skulls here with the Talk of Love podcast. I hope you're all doing well. Um, so I'm making this video tonight in response to a situation that was created by Heather Chadwell from Rock of Love. Uh, a lot of you know that there has been some issues there going on with her and just in case you're not aware, just to quickly catch you up, uh, Heather was my partner on the Talk of Love podcast. Uh, she and I came together last year. We started talking about doing a podcast together. We thought it would be fun to do a podcast where we talked about Rock of Love. Um, we started in February and my husband, Johnny, actually came up with the name Talk of Love. And uh, after a couple of months of doing the podcast with Heather, she, uh, left the, she left the podcast. She abandoned the project because she was trying to use the podcast to basically air her grievances and bash and shame all the people that she had issues with from 12 years ago, including Brett Michaels, including Megan Hauserman. Uh, I know she had serious issues with Farah. The list goes on and on. So um, Heather and I thought about that. I was wanting to use the podcast uh, for positivity and light uh, subject matter fun. And um, she just wanted to use it to um, get revenge on the people that she felt wronged her. So we fought about this. Ultimately, she quit the podcast and uh, and I thought that she was going to continue on her path and I would continue on my path, but that is not what happened. And what I'm realizing now in hindsight is that when Heather quit the podcast, she wanted me to quit too. And because I've continued the podcast on, she is furious, she's enraged, she's doing everything that she can to stop the podcast and to stop me from having a podcast and to stop you guys from enjoying the podcast. So, um, you know, I know there's a lot of fighting between me and her about like, well, whose idea was it? Here's the thing about the podcast. It was neither my idea nor was it Heather's idea. Let me break it down. The podcast is about reality stars talking about reality TV shows. I'm not the first person to have come up with that idea. Heather is not the first person to have come up with that idea. There are countless, countless podcasts and TV shows right now that are about reality TV shows. It is not an original idea. You couldn't trademark or, or patent or, or get a service mark or anything on that idea if you wanted to because it's not original. We are doing the same idea that everybody else has done. We're talking about reality TV. That is it. Now when it comes to the name, Talk of Love, that was my husband's idea. He, he created the name. He came up with the name. Heather is fully aware of that. So what is this then? What is this all about? She is upset that you guys have chosen to support me and therefore she wants to punish you by taking a podcast away from you. She is upset that I continued on without her. I didn't let the podcast die. I kept going and um, she's upset that I'm having su su success with it. So she wants to put it to a halt. And here's the thing. Heather can go get her own podcast too. She can start a podcast. All you guys can go watch her podcast. Go support her. I'm not stopping her from doing anything. So this whole thing of like she's trying to stop me from having a podcast, it doesn't make any logical sense. Again, not an original idea. And secondly, my husband came up with Talk of Love. It belongs to him. So um, the reason I'm making this video is a lot of you have been reaching out to me and it's just um, so many people I need to get back in touch with to let them know what's going on. And I was spent about an hour emailing you guys today, but it was just um, too overwhelming. I want to get the message out quickly, so I figured the best way to reach you is through this video. Uh, Heather went on to the Patreon page, which I've been very active on. You guys have been very active on. We really built a really cool little community. I called it the Talk of Love Patreon family. And I was really enjoying interacting with you guys. I Skype videoed with a bunch of you. And um, a lot of you actually joined the Patreon page after Heather left the podcast. So she, again, she doesn't want me to have the, the podcast. From, so from her perspective, how can she quickly and easily pull the plug on it? By cutting my funding, the funding that you guys voluntarily brought here to me so that I could pay the expenses of having the podcast filmed and edited and um, pay for the monthly fees for Spotify and everything that goes along with it. So you guys were supportive of me. She doesn't like it. She basically put a big middle finger in all of your faces and said, I don't want you to support Lacey. So she went to Patreon. She said that Talk of Love was hers and she uh, reported 
on the Talk of Love Patreon to Patreon. And when they emailed me, they specifically confirmed that it was Heather Chadwell that did this. And um, what Patreon has to do in these situations is they just shut down the Patreon page and let the individual parties duke it out. So um, that's not what I'm gonna do, actually. If she wants to shut down Patreon, she can shut down Patreon, fine. She gets that victory. You feel good about yourself now, Heather? You just took away something from a bunch of fans that were really enjoying it, and you basically told them to go fuck themselves in an effort to get even with me. So what I've learned is when Heather isn't satisfied, she doesn't. She knows that she can't like talk shit about me online because I don't care, I'm a freaking villain. <laughs> There's nothing that Heather can say about me online that hasn't already been said. So she can't get me that way. So what does she do? She goes after my husband, she goes after my family, and she goes after you guys. Let me tell you something. I fucking love you guys. I fucking do. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I have enjoyed this podcast leaps and bounds more than I ever, ever thought. I thought that this podcast was gonna be me just having fun, rehashing old you know, rock of love stories, getting in touch with other castmates, but actually, you guys, it has been so much more for, for me. It has been so much more than that for me. And what that has been is it has allowed me to develop friendships and emotional connections with all of you. It's been really therapeutic to me. It's It's been amazing and you know, um, a lot of you have really opened up and, and, and gotten real with me either in the YouTube comments or through Patreon. And you're some amazing, amazing people. And, and listen, you guys have support for me. You have love for me. And you know what? I have your fucking back. I got your back. I am not going to let this podcast die. I'm not going to let the Patreon die. I have a, a new um, way that I'm going to handle that. It's going to be just as good as Patreon. I'll let you guys know that at the end of this. But... Um, I want you to know that she wants to take this away from you. And you guys have been emailing me and commenting in YouTube comments saying how much this podcast means to you. You've been telling me that this has been your escapism. You've been telling me that you've been stressed. You've been anxious. You've been stuck indoors because of the the uh, global health crisis that's happening right now. One of you reached out to me recently and said that your freaking sister died, man. Your freaking sister died. And you told me that this podcast helps you feel better about it and I'm crying that right now because you guys know I lost my mom and that's that's something that like hits home to me. This is more than just a podcast. This is therapy for you guys and this is therapy for me and I need you guys. I freaking need you and Heather wants to take you away from me and it's it's I don't even have words for how cruel she's being when the crime that I committed was continuing a podcast after she quit because I wouldn't let her talk shit about people on our freaking podcast, you know? And because of the podcast, you know, I've met, I met Alex, who has been a great supporter on Patreon, and he's talked to me about his boyfriend, Lewis, and, and I got to sing happy birthday to Lewis. Um, evilness, best name in the entire world. Love you, girl. You've been so supportive on Patreon as well. I got to meet all your sweet, adorable fur babies. Um, Brooke. Brooke, I just met you recently. I just did a whole big Skype chat with you. I got to meet your German Shepherd Bella and your Shih Tzu Kobe. And you talked to me about your dogs and how much you love them and your passion for them. We talked about Caesar Milan, the dog whisperer, who's a big hero to me. And Jesus, you and I talked just the other day too on Skype um, through the Patreon site. And you told me that you that you live in Chile and you were talking to me about your, your struggles being a gay person in a different country. And you talked to me about that. You were really open with me and you're very real. Elena from New Jersey, you and I Skyped, you're my first Skype girl, you are so much fun, such a sweetheart, such good energy, told me about how you watched Rock of Love when you were 10 years old and snuck around behind your parents' back, you're a rebel, that's why I like you. Josh, you're my favorite freaking English teacher, talking to me about your students and how passionate you are about that. Camille, you have three horses and you and I did a Skype chat together, you know I ride horses too, we talked about horses, Rob Zombie and King Diamond for about an hour, that was awesome, one of my favorite conversations. Ryan, you just wanted a what's up, skanks, for your birthday. That's all you wanted. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. Been super supportive of me on Patreon as well. Wes, I just recently did a shout out to you for your boyfriend, Tyler, who just recently had a birthday. So these are the kinds of connections I've got, you guys. And for those of you who haven't been on Patreon yet, or to those of you who know me on Patreon, these are the connections. We're doing Skype chats. We're doing video shout outs. We're emailing back and forth. You guys are telling me real personal stuff. I've talked to you guys about my mom. Um, Heather wants to destroy that. She successfully got that shut down because she doesn't want you guys to have that connection with me. 
So here's where I'm at. Fuck all that. <laughs> I got your back, you guys. You think I'm gonna let her get away with that? Hell no. Absolutely fucking not. Heather tried to fuck with me on Rock of Love. How did that work out for her? Heather tried to fuck with me on Chime School. How did that work out for her? Now she's trying to fuck with me again through this podcast. But you know what? Here's the deal. I'm not going to let it happen because I fucking love you guys. I fucking have your backs. I'm going to make sure that I am here for good. You know, I really wanted to um, expand outside of Rock of Love. I'm going to always do Rock of Love. I've always got you guys on that. I love doing, uh, sorry, Talk of Love, the podcast. In addition to that, I had a bunch of other plans where I was actually going to go back over to my Lacey Skulls YouTube video and post a bunch of really cool stuff for you guys. I've got new ideas for additional uh, podcasts for you. So I'm going to get that rolling pretty soon. Um, but I was going to use the Patreon funds to do it. So, you know, these kind of things cost money. And to be honest with you guys, I recently turned down a job. A friend of mine has an organization that she wanted to hire me to do all of her social media for her. But the thing is, had I taken that job, it would have taken me away from the Talk of Love podcast. I want to do this full time. This is what I want. I fucking love you guys. I love our connection. And um, I turned down that job because I felt confident in the Patreon contributions. But now, um, because she had the Patreon shut down, that made it so that all of the contributions that you guys had um, had contributed to me and to the podcast got reversed and went back to the people onto your credit card, to the people who had uh, contributed. So um, I didn't get any of that money, and which means now I cannot pay my um, film editor. And the person who also um, who films and edits all the podcasts, I can't pay him now. I actually was about to transfer money from Patreon this week, send it over to him, and got nothing for him now. So I actually have another uh, interview lined up with, uh, sorry, with um, Sam. <laughs> Sam and I were going to film tomorrow. I might have to postpone that. I don't know if there's going to be a talk of love on Monday because I got to figure out this whole financial situation that Heather has effectively pulled the blood on. So. Now what? Um, a lot of you have been saying that uh, if I can get something else going, another Patreon site or something, that you will support me. Really, really appreciate that, you guys. And so I figured that the safest way to go until Heather decides to eventually move on, get her own podcast, I don't know. Um, I'm going to just, for right now, temporarily, just this month, I'm just going to go through PayPal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer all the exact same tiers, all the exact same rewards that uh, I was offering for you guys in Patreon. And um, I'm going to put those in the comments below. Um, but just real quickly, uh, oh, I also want to say that a lot of you had just joined and I was in the process of making videos and things like that for you and I, I lost you now because of what Heather has done. So uh, there's a couple of options for you. First, you can go to talkoflove.net. That's www.talkoflove.net. Go to the contacts. And you can write to me there. I'm the only person who checks it. So when you hear back from me, it will be me. And um, you can let me know where you where your standing was with Patreon and that you want to come back. Um, the second thing is, um, so we're going to go through, just for temporarily again, we're going to go through, um, through PayPal. So if you contact me through PayPal, um, just go to paypal.me slash Lacey Skulls, and don't forget Skulls is spelled with a C, so paypal.me slash Lacey, L-A-C-E-Y, Skulls, S-C-U-L-L-S, and you can uh, go to the comments below, the, sorry, the description below, and I'll put it in there. Um, these are the tiers and the rewards. So for uh, $1, that's for the, the tippers, if you just want to tip towards the podcast, and um, that will make it so that I will send you a little email from me thanking you so make sure that you put your email address in there um, and make sure that you put you know what your what sorry what reward that you want so one dollar is for tippers five dollars if you join the five dollar tier you will get to see all of the talk of love patreon sorry the talk of love podcast episodes you'll get to see those early you won't have to wait until monday the ten dollar tier you get a shout out video you also get weekly reaction videos of me watching the Rock of Love season one from the beginning to the end. Every week, every Thursday, I will be posting only for my supporters to see. I will be uh, posting the Rock of Love uh, full episodes with me doing reaction video. Um, in addition to that, you'll get, um, as I said, a shout out video. For $15, that tier, you get an AMA video, which stands for Ask Me Anything. So write to me, send me your three questions, and I will make a video response for you, answering all of your questions. Plus, you'll get everything in the previous tiers as well. 
$20 tier um, once a month, you will get a Skype call from me, which is supposed to be 20 minutes, but it never is 20 minutes. It's usually 30 or 40 minutes. So you'll get the Skype call plus everything in the earlier tiers. Uh, $40, that is, um, you get a surprise mail from me once a month. And um, I will also follow you on Instagram and like everything there. Plus you get the 20 minute Skype call with me once a month. You get to see all the reaction videos from Rock of Love and everything else in the previous tiers. Also, if you uh, if you go to the forty dollar tier or more for every single one of those that I get, I am going to donate ten percent of that to my favorite organization, nonprofit organization, which is Beagle Freedom Project. Beagle Freedom Project is a great organization that rescues beagles from research testing laboratories, rescues them, rehabilitates them, and rehomes them into a forever family home. And they're fantastic. They've saved thousands of animals. So every contribution I get of $40 or more, 10% of that will go to Beagle Freedom Project. Um, and of course, we have the $100 tier, which is for our corporate sponsors. So I'm going to put all this in the description below. I would love to see you guys back. So please um, go to PayPal and uh, that's how you can sign up. And I am looking to do a new platform. I'm not going to do Patreon again, but I am going to do a new platform because what I really liked about Patreon is the fact that we're a community. And I liked that um, we could interact with each other. You guys could talk to each other. I could talk to you. And if we could, you know, communicate as a group. We could also communicate privately. And I really liked that community feeling. So I am actively researching um, what is the best uh, new format for that online for all of you guys. So anyway, that's what's going on. I got your back. Talk of love is going nowhere. Um, you know, I also recently learned from one of you guys that uh, Heather has actually gone to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, and she's trying to um, go around me and basically steal the name fraudulently, Talk of Love, which my husband came up with. She's trying to go to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office and take the name. So anyway, this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> but she cannot stop me. She's wasting her time. She, yeah, she's making things difficult. Yeah, she's making things inconvenient. Yeah, I had a bunch of other things that I was going to do for my Patreon people that I can't now, and instead I'm making this video. And to be honest, I'm tired of talking about Heather Chadwell. All I want is for her to move on with her life, me to move on with my life, and never have to speak her name ever again. But as we know, if you guys saw the 12-pack video recently on um, the No Filter podcast with um, Zach Peter, 12-pack uh, was even talking about how she gets really obsessive and she gets really stalkerish and um, really vindictive. So I guess I'm going to have Heather Chadwell in my life for a little while now, whether I like it or not. But I'll tell you this. I got you guys. I got your back. I fucking love you guys. I'm not going anywhere. And um, Heather can say fuck you to you guys all she wants. And you know what? Fuck that. Fuck that. Because I fucking love you guys and I'm going to be here for you. So don't you worry. I'm here for you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for listening.